Ah! It's not that bad, I swear, but this is a big problem. And I kind of worked through it again uh, when I was looking at this. I was like, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to have any kind of stumbling blocks when I'm making a video for this. So let me work it out. And um, you know, this one took me actually a little bit of time just to kind of, you know, make sure you're going around in the right paths and, and make sure you're following through. And you know, I've been been working at these problems for a long time, and I have a lot of practice and experience working with these. But you always, you know, the main thing when verifying um, is just trying to think, you know, what's going to be the easiest path. And even the way that I'm that I decided to. Um, uh, solve it or verify this might not be the easiest path, but it's the way that my brain wanted to think, and so that's the way I'm going to share with you. Well, I think on an obvious case, you can see that I'm going to want to simplify um, the right hand side rather than the left hand side because we always like to start with um, which one works, uh, which place works easiest. Now, I tried a couple other methods and I kind of got stuck, and then I immediately said, you know what? Let's convert everything to sines and cosines, and then think how we can algebraically kind of fix it from there. So that's what I did. I converted all of my terms to sines and cosines because um, after trying by using some Pythagorean identities, I was like, I don't, this is making this much worse than I want to deal with. So therefore, this becomes uh, cosine squared of w over sine squared of w plus cosine squared of w times cosine squared of w over sine squared of w all over. Uh, 1 divided by sine squared of w. Okay. Now, what I noticed is um, up here, I pretty much have this is like over 1, so that's really just over there, but this is all over the same sign. Um, well, actually, let's put it over 1 because really I'm multiplying these two terms. All right, so what I notice is, well, if I have sine squared and sine squared in my denominator, why don't I just combine everything on top by sine squared? Um, I also know that in my denominator, I'm going to want to multiply this by the reciprocal, which would be sine squared. Therefore, that will delimitate what's in my denominator and will also eliminate this sine squared on the bottom. So I started thinking that might be a good idea. So therefore, um, my LCD for all three of these terms are for 1 over 1. Um, this term, this term, this term is going to be sine squared. So what I do is I just multiply my 1 times sine squared over sine squared. And then what I did is I just subtracted all of my terms and rewrote this as one and rewrote this as one term. So therefore, now up top I have sine squared minus cosine squared of w plus, now here when you multiply these across, it's just going to become a cosine squared. Uh, and then cosine squared times cosine squared is going to be cosine to the fourth w all over sine squared of w divided by 1 over sine squared of w. Now, again, I wanted to eliminate this sine squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by sine squared of w in the denominator and in the numerator. And remember, I can do that because I'm keeping equivalent fractions. Therefore, um, those divide up to 1. And here, my now there's divide up to 1. So I'm kind of run out of a little space. I think I have a little bit of room over here. So now let's kind of rewrite this over here. Now I have sine, still see, sine squared minus cosine squared of w plus cosine to the fourth w. Now remember this has to equal over there. I just kind of ran out of space, so I need to work it over here. Um, so what I can do is I, let's see here. Um, now, I remember, everything needs to look in terms of signs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite everything in terms of signs by using my Pythagorean identities. Well, to rewrite cosine to the fourth, I'm going to write sine squared of w, sorry, minus cosine squared of w plus cosine squared of w times cosine squared of w. Well, now by still converting this, I have sine squared of w minus, uh, remember my Pythagorean identity is sine squared of w plus cosine squared of w equals 1. So if I have a cosine squared, that's going to be 1 minus sine squared of w plus I'm going to have 1 minus sine squared of w times 1 minus sine squared of w. 
Here, I can distribute a property, so I have sine squared of w minus 1 plus sine squared of w. Here, by applying FOIL, I'm going to have 1 times 1 is 1 squared. Uh, 1 times negative sine squared plus 1 times negative sine squared is going to be a negative 2 sine squared of w. And then negative sine squared times negative sine squared is going to be a positive sine to the fourth w. So now we look at this, and you can say that, well, my negative 1 and my positive 1, those add to 0. Sine squared plus sine squared is 2 sine squared minus 2 sine squared. So I have sine squared plus sine squared is 2 sine squared. Subtract 2 sine squared. That just leaves me with a sine to the fourth w. So my apologies um, for kind of working this. But you guys can see now on my, left, on my right hand side, which I converted over to the left, is now equal to your sine fourth of w. Thanks.